Hello everyone, I'm Isan. In this video, we'll see the latest updates on the Good Luck module on April 2021. There are several new modules on the latest Good Luck update that are pretty interesting. There is an updated setting on Task Changer with the new animation. We have never seen an animation like this before. Then there are also some new settings on Task Changer which are updated on its latest module. On the Lockstar application, there is also a new shortcut position on its latest update. Okay, now let's just take a look on what are the latest features on this latest Good Luck update. The first feature is on the Home App module. For those of you who want to try it, make sure you have installed the latest update of Good Luck application on Home App module. If you still don't know how to install Good Luck on your smartphone, you can check out our previous video on the upper right corner link. After successfully installing Good Luck and updating to the latest version, you can immediately try some of its newest features. For the first feature that you can immediately use is Home App module. In this latest Home App module in Task Changer menu, there are two new modes that you can use. On the latest Task Changer, now you can find it on the Home App module and not separate it in its own module. So now you'll find two new Task Changer modes on this new Home App module. Previously, for the latest Good Luck update on Android 11, you could only find these three menus. You can only use list, grid, and stack menus on the previous version. And on this latest update, there are now two new menus called Vertical List, and there is also a new menu called Slim List. To display the Vertical List menu, you can open several applications first. And let's see how the task changer looks. For the default Vertical List layout type, you will find the display of task changer like this. Then for the Slim List, you can find your task changer look like this. Then the latest feature on task changer application on this latest home app module, you can activate a new menu called Circular List. By activating the Circular List, the task changer menu will appear more interesting like this. Because there is a slightly circular effect like this when you swipe on the task changer. For this new circular list, you can use it on vertical list layout type and you can also use it on slim list layout type. So the looks of your task changer will look like this. The vertical list layout will also appear slightly rounded when you swipe on the task changer. If you compare it to the standard looks, it will look like this. And so does for slim list menu. And if you activate it, there will be a rounded effect which is pretty interesting. Then the third new feature in the Home App application update in Task Changer mode is Mini Mode. For the Mini Mode feature, you can activate it on the layout list, grid, and stack only. For the previous list display, it will look like this. And if you activate Mini Mode, the display will appear small like this. It will make you easier to reach your smartphone when using your smartphone with one hand. The display of the grid layout type will look like this if you don't activate Mini Mode. And the grid layout type with mini mode active will look like this. And for the stack layout view without activating mini mode will appear like this. And when the mini mode active will appear like this. You can use this mini mode feature when you often use your smartphone one handedly. So you can easily reach your task view on task changer with this mini mode feature. Then the fourth newest feature you can also activate or deactivate recommended apps on the latest Home Hub module. On the task changer option in the home app module, you can also activate recommended apps. It will appear at the bottom of task changer icon like this. And if you want to get rid of the recommended apps icon at the bottom, you can disable the recommended apps feature. So the display will not be filled with the icon at the bottom of your screen. Then the fifth new feature, you can also activate the search bar or deactivate the search bar. To activate the search bar, you just have to activate the search bar option at the top of the recommended apps menu. The search bar will appear at the top of the task changer view. And if you don't want to activate this search bar, you just have to activate this option. So for a cleaner and better looks, you can disable the search bar or recommended apps. And you can also activate it whenever you like later. Then the sixth feature on the latest good luck update, you can find a shortcut for split screen view. To open the split screen view, you can immediately tap the icon at the bottom left and the application that you are currently open will immediately appear at the top of the split screen view. And you can immediately open the second application at the bottom. For the split screen view icon, it will be there by default and there's no settings or option to remove it from the task changer. For the other settings on the section below, they are already exist on the previous version. You can find out what are the functions of these previous settings on the video right here. Then the seventh new feature is in the Lockstar module. 
To try it, of course, you have to first update the Logstar module to its latest version. When you have successfully updated to the latest version, you can really enjoy the latest update of these new Logstar settings. The new feature is that you can activate shortcut on the lock screen in several different positions. Previously, you could only display the lock screen shortcut in a row at the bottom and open to the left. Whereas now you can choose several new positions like this. You can position the shortcut on the right or you can also put it on the left side of your smartphone. You can go directly to the lock star application then select edit portrait lock screen. And here select the option at the bottom right corner. And then here select shortcuts option. There are several positions for the shortcut option on the lock screen. There is an option to show shortcut on the right and open it to the left like this. And there is also an option to show the shortcut icon on the right and open it to the top like this. So the shortcut icon will be open upwards and of course this icon will be easier to access one handedly. If you use your smartphone right-handedly, this two option is a better option for you because the shortcut can be accessed easily on the right side of the screen. However, if you use your smartphone left-handedly, you can activate the third and the fourth option. For multiple shortcut mode, the three position will be on the left side and it will open the shortcut to the right. So when you press multiple icons, the selected icon will be open to the right side like this. Then the fourth option, the icons will be open upwards like the one on the right earlier. The difference is only the position is on the left. So there are 4 additions to the latest multiple icons on the Logstar module. For those of you who are just setting up for the first time, you have to first select the app icon. To select the app icon, when you select this multiple shortcut, just tap on the app icon. Then you have to select any application that you want to add to the lock screen shortcut. There are 6 app icons that you can choose from here. Then click apply at the top right corner. Then this 6 app shortcut will appear on your lock screen. After setting up the icon and set multiple shortcut, you can then save this option. Then the next new feature is on the Wonderland module. In the latest update to the Wonderland module, you can get two new themes right here. There are new spring and summer themes that you can activate right away. The new spring theme will look like this when you activate it. There will be some kind of animation that move on your home screen. Then there is also the summer option which you can also use on the latest Wonderland module update. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to like and also subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified when there is a new video from this channel. If you have any question or comment, you can just type it on the comment section down below and you can also ask on our telegram group or you can directly DM us on our Instagram account at Entertainment. See you in the next video.